Come unto me, all ye that labor, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest. Unto your soul's rest, unto your soul's rest, unto your soul's it's I'd like to say great day to the class. Great day. My name is Stefan Williams, and I will be your class moderator for today's class lecture. Please sign us all cell phones and all electronic devices. Thank you. Welcome to another lecture given by Walking in the Spirit Omaha class. Here, please. This teaching was established as a result 
of a divine panoramic vision accompanied by a divine panoramic revelation given to Dr. Henry Clifford Kinley in the state of Ohio in the city of Springfield in the year of 1930 on June 6th on a Friday at 9 o'clock in the morning. The very first class was held in the state of Ohio in the city of Springfield in the year of 1932. This teaching then moved to the state of California and was incorporated there in the year of 1958. And there are other classes that are held in the United States, Canada, England, Africa, and certain other foreign countries that teach the truth about Yahweh Elohim and Yahshua the Messiah. Also teach the truth about the law, prophets, and fulfillments. Also teach the truth about the unity of the Spirit. And also teach the truth about the tabernacle pattern. Walking in the Spirit Omaha class was established in the year of 2016. This is a class, it, it, it's not a church, nor are we affiliated with any religious organization. In this class we teach by the true, correct, holy and divine name of the Father, Yahweh, the Word or His Son, Elohim and the Holy Spirit, Yahshua the Messiah. Yahweh is pure spirit. He chose to symbolize himself as a phenomenal cloud because a cloud has no descriptive or descriptive or because the cloud has no descriptive shape or form. To describe the makeup of this cloud, Yahweh showed nine divine major attributes which are intelligence, wisdom and knowledge, love, beauty and justice, power, foundation and strength. Yahweh transformed into a super incorporeal anthropomorphic being known as Yahweh Elohim Yahshua. It was in this form that he, Yahweh Elohim Yahshua, created the heavens and the earth. He then manifested himself in a special prepared sacrificial body known as Adam. And Yahshua the Messiah. Back up the top here. Yahweh Elohim Yahshua came to institute the law and the prophets as Yahushua, the son of Nun, and to fulfill the law and the prophets as Yahshua the Messiah. Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, these three are one. As it states in Deuteronomy 6 and 4, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh, our Elohim, is Yahweh a unity. <clears throat> now, our ten primary constitutional objectives and aims of this class is as follows. First, to help you find and know Yahweh our Elohim as he really is and how he actually exists. Second, to form a nucleus universal brotherhood of humanity and Yahshua the Messiah without the distinction of race, nationality, sex, creed, caste, or color. Third, to investigate the unexplained spirit law, or so-called law of nature, and power latent in man. Fourth, to encourage and promote the study of the scriptures, comparative religious, philosophy, psychology, modern practical, and occult science. Fifth, to extirpate current superstitions, skepticisms, and ignorance. Sixth, to learn, know, and understand 
the operations of Yahweh's eternal purpose through the dispensation and ages. Seventh, to deserve and avoid being deceived by Lucifer, the serpent, the devil, the dragon, or Satan and his demons, operate the mischief of iniquity on earth through the dispensations of time. Eighth, to earnestly contend for the common salvation of faith, which the one delivered to the sons or children of Yahweh. Ninth, to make known that Yahweh from the beginning ordained that there is no other name given among men by men must or can be saved that save the name of Yahshua the Messiah. And tenth, and that is who inherit eternal life. Now, in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah, with the hope of immortal glorification in the newer state. I walk toward his peace, our slogan is speak the truth. And we will begin today's class lecture with opening prayer. And the opening prayer will be given by Dr. Rapunzel Williams. We've had one selection of song. And our scripture lesson for today's class lecture is 1 Kings, the 18th chapter, verses 1 through the 40th verse. And that will be read by Dr. Stefan Williams. Let us all remain seated for the opening prayer. Great day, class. Great day. Thus, by hearts and minds to Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, Messiah. Father, we are so thankful and grateful, Father, for allowing us to come back to another class, Father, to learn more of your purpose, your pattern, and your plan, Father. I thank you, Father, for all the things that you have done and shown us and to be true of who you truly are and how you do actually exist, Father. Yeah. Thank you, Father, for being so merciful, so kind, loving, caring, loving kindness, tender mercy, Father. We just like to thank you, Father, for this marvelous teaching, Father, that you have introduced us to and chosen us from the foundation of the world to, to know the true name of our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua Messiah. All these blessings and requests we ask the only begotten Son, Yahshua Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. King of the universe 
As for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh. Because you set your love upon me, therefore will I deliver thee. Day again, class. Great day. Once again, our scripture lesson for today's class lecture is 1 Kings, the 18th chapter, verses 1 through the 40th verse. And I'll be reading from the Holy Name Bible containing the Holy Name version of the Old and New Testament, as purely compared with ancient authorities, very manuscripts, revised by the late A.B. Trainer, the Scripture Research Association Incorporated reprinted by the Yahshua Promotions. That's 1 Kings, the 18th chapter, verses 1 through the 40th verse from the Holy Name Bible, it says, And it came to pass after many days that the word of Yahweh came to Eliah in the third year, saying, Go, shew thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the, the, the earth. And Eliah went to shew himself unto Ahab, and there was a sore famine in Samaria. And Ahab called Obadiah, which was the governor of his house. Now Obadiah feared Yahweh greatly. For it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of Yahweh, that Obadiah took an hundred prophets and hid them by fifty in a cave, and fed them with bread and water. And Ahab said unto Obadiah, Go unto the land unto all fountains of water, and unto all brooks, per adventure, we may find grass to save the horses and mules alive, that we lose not all the beasts. So they divided the land between them to pass throughout it. Ahab went one way by himself, and Obadiah went another way by himself. And as Obadiah was in the way, behold, Eliah met him, and he knew him and fell on his face and said, Art thou 
that my master Elijah? And he answered him, I am. Go tell thy master, behold, Elijah is here. And he said, What have I said? That thou would have delivered thy servant into the hand of Ahab to slay me? As Yahweh thy Elohim liveth, there is no nation or kingdom whither my master hath not sent to seek thee. And when they said he is not there, he took an oath of the kingdom and nation that they found thee not. And now thou sayest, Go, tell thy master, behold, Eliah is here. And, and, it can't, and, excuse me, and it shall come to pass, as soon as I am gone from, from thee, that the Spirit of Yahweh shall carry thee whither I know not. And so when I come and tell Ahab, and he cannot find thee, he shall slay me. But I, thy servant, fear of Yahweh from my youth. Was it not told my master what I did when Jezebel slew the prophets of Yahweh, how I hid an hundred men of Yahweh's prophets by fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water? And now thou sayest, Go, Tell thy master, Behold, Eliah is here, and he shall slay me. And Eliah said, As Yahweh of hosts liveth, before whom I stand, I will surely shew myself unto him today. So Obadiah went to meet Ahab, and told him, and Ahab went to meet Eliah. And it came to pass, when Ahab saw Eliah, that Ahab said unto him, Art thou he that troubleth Israel? And he answered, I have not troubled Israel, but thou and thy father's house, in that ye have forsaken the commandments of Yahweh, and thou hast followed Balaam. Now therefore send and gather to me all Israel unto Mount Carmel, and the prophets of Baal, 450, and the prophets of the sacred poles, 400, which eat at Jezebel's table. So Ahab sent unto all the children of Israel and gathered the prophets together unto Mount Carmel. And Eliah came unto all the people and said, How long how ye between two opinions? If Yah would be Elohim, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only remain a prophet of Yahweh, but Baal's prophets are 450 men. Let them therefore give us two bullocks, and let them choose one bullock for themselves, and cut it in pieces and lay it on wood, and put no fire under. And I will dress the, the other bullock, and lay it on wood, and put no fire under. And call ye on the name of your idol, and I will call on the name of Yahweh. And the one that answered by fire, let him be Elohim. And all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, choose you one bullock for yourselves, and dress it first, for ye are many, and call on the name of your idol, but put no fire under. And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal from morning even unto noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice nor any that answered, and they leaped upon the altar which was made. And it came to pass at noon that Eliah mocked them and said, Cry aloud, for he is a mighty one. Either he is talking, or he is pursuing, or he is in a journey, or peradventure he sleepeth and must be awake. 
and they cried aloud and cut themselves after their manner with knives and, lat and, and latchets till the blood gushed out upon them. And it came to pass when midday was past and they raved on until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that there was neither voice nor any to answer nor any that regarded. And Eliah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him, and he repaired the altar of Yahweh that was broken down. And Eliah took twelve stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of, of Yaqub, unto whom the word of Yahweh came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of Yahweh, and he made a trench about the altar as great as would contain two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order and cut the bullock in pieces and laid him on the wood and said, Fill four barrels with water and pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood. And he said, Do it the second time. And they did it the second time. And he said, Do it the third time. And they did it the third time. And the water ran, and the water ran around about the altar, and he filled the trench also with water. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the Eben sacrifice that Eliah, the prophet, came near and said, Yahweh, the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Let it be known this day that thou art Elohim in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Yahweh, hear me, that this people may know that thou art Yahweh Elohim, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the fire of Yahweh fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, Yahweh, he is the Elohim. Yahweh, he is the Elohim. And Eliah said unto them, Take the prophets of Baal, let not one of them escape, and they took them, and Eliah brought them down to the brook Kishon, and slew them there. I read for you, 1 Kings, the 18th chapter, verses 1 through the 40th verse from the Holy Name Bible, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like to say great day to the class once again. Great day. Like to mind the class and those of you that are viewing this, this this class video to please silence all cell phones and all electronic devices so it will not be a distraction to yourselves. Um, today we're going to continue on with part two of our special class lecture. Okay? Yes. So let's get into the special class lecture part two.
Just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we're going to continue on with our special class lecture, part two. And our special class lecture is entitled, Why Worshiping the Names of Pagan Deities? Once again, this is our special class lecture, part two. Yes. All right? Yes. And it's entitled, Why Worship in the Names of Pagan Deities? That's a question, okay? Yes. And before we continue on with our special class lecture, I would like to read a message by Dr. Henry Cliff McKinley. It says, Did it ever occur to you that we remain ignorant of attested truth and scientifically proven facts, more particularly because we fail to make a personal detailed investigation of important matters? This failure to, to investigate positively retards the progress of our understanding and knowledge in every vocation and phase of life, both physical and spiritual. Sometimes stopping and thinking for a moment over the central things of life eliminates many regretted years of poverty, sickness, humiliation, embarrassment, sometimes death and destruction. Therefore, we should learn to pause and try to think intelligently before we finally conclude affirmatively or negatively. We should do this before an ultimatum or final decision is rendered on any secular subject. The majority of us, to some extent, are guilty of this negligence, okay? Yes. All right. <clears throat> so let's continue on with our special class lecture part two. Once again, the special class lecture is entitled why worship in the names of pagan deities? All right? Yes. It says, but how about the bride class, the little remnant, the true sons? Are they also walking in the names of gods or deity of the nations? They may have been guilty of this, just as Hoshea, the second chapter, verse 16, is, verse 16 and 17 said, they might have been calling him by one or more of Baal's names. Okay? Yes. So right up here, this is our, uh, this is our name, uh, part of our uh, section, our name chart here. All down here is, uh, what we just read in 1 Kings, the 18th chapter, verse 1 through 40, see? These are all prophets of Baal, okay? Mm -hmm. or, 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 uh, excuse me, these, these are all uh, 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 deities, uh, 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 idols, okay? Yes. Baal, see, Baal just simply means Lord, and Lord means Baal, okay? These are all erroneous. Yes. Titles and names down here. Okay? Yes. There's many, there's many of them. Mm -hmm. Many is erroneous names all over the universe. Many erroneous titles. They're idols. They cannot do nothing for you. As it's stated over there, we read in 1 Kings 18 chapter that they can't breathe. Right. They can't talk. They can't answer. Right. They can't see. They can't hear. See? They're just like, just like you know, like, 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 uh, 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 like, like statues. Okay. Right. All right. So all down here is 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 is, is 
erroneous deities, okay? And all up here is holy, divine, and true. And your heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, only has one name, okay? According to Zechariah 14 and 9, you're going to prove that he is a unity and that he only has one name, and that's Yahweh, okay? All right? Yes. So once again, it's sitting down. Yeah, baby. Well, if they can leave it here, I'm sorry. All I wanted to see is just like that. It's like I'm doing that. That's all I want to see for the viewers. Once again, it says now, but how about the bride class, the little remnant, the true sons? Are they also walking in the names of the deities or the gods or the idols? See? of the nations? See, that's a question. They may, they may have been guilty of this just as Hoshea, the second chapter, verse 16 and 17. See, they might have been calling him, calling him, meaning Yahweh, mm -hmm. see, by, see, By one or more of, more of Baal's names, okay? But his promise was, but his promise, meaning Yahweh's promise was, see? I will take the names, uh, I will take the names and erroneous titles of Balaam, see? Mm -hmm. out, of, out of your mouth, out of their mouth, see? And now what does Makai say? While the unconverted, the headstrong and unteachable are walking everyone in the name of his pet, of his pet deity or his pet God, see? We the bride class from whose mouth every bail, every bail, see, mm -hmm. every bail name has been taken by the Spirit. Will we walk in the name of Yahweh? Will we walk in the name of Yahweh forever and ever? That's according to Makai, the fourth chapter in verse five. Um, can you read that for the readers, for the for the viewers, please, reader? Makai, the fourth chapter, verse four. Makai, the fourth chapter, in verse five. Makai, M I C A H. Just go to your uh, go to your glossary if you need be. Makai, M I C A H. Makai, M I C A H. You have it? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. Read for the read for the viewers, please. Reader Makai, the fourth chapter, verse five, please. Come on. Makai, chapter. You gotta speak up. Uh, Makai, first chapter. Makai, the fourth oh, chapter. Uh, Makai, the fourth chapter, excuse me. Verse five. And verse five. Out of the holy name Bible. Uh -huh. For all people who now walk in the names of their idols. And walk now all people that walk in the name of their idols, read. Will then walk in the name of Yahweh. But they will then walk in the name of Yahweh. Our Elohim. Our Elohim. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Ain't that something? That's beautiful, right? Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, reader. It says now, since we have come to an understanding of Makai's message about the names, let's consider Isaiah 65th chapter, verse 11, carefully. The prophet says, the prophet says, 
but ye are that that forsake, but ye are they that forsake Yahweh, see. <laughs> that forgot my forgot my holy mountain, see. That prepare a table for Gad or God, see. And that furnace their drink offered unto many, see. <laughs> All right. I need you read reader, please, Revelation, the 12th chapter, and verse 9, from the King James Version, putting the true and correct uh, divine holy name of the Heavenly Father would need be, and the divine title would need be. Revelation 12 and 9 from the King James Version, putting the true and correct holy divine name and title of the Heavenly Father, uh, if need be. Read, please. Revelations. 12 and 9 from the Holy Name, um, from the King James Version, excuse me. Uh-huh. Revelations 12 and 9 from the King James Version. Because. And, and the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil uh -huh. and Satan, uh -huh. which deceived the whole world. Uh-huh. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels was cast out with him. Uh-huh. Keep going. That's 12, that's verse 9? Yes, sir. And that end of that? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, reader. So, see, now in, 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 in the, I'm going to say it like this, in the world, or in the religious world, mm -hmm. you often hear individuals say, you can call your Heavenly Father Yahweh, mm -hmm. you can call him any name, or you can call him, you know what I mean? Call him what you want to call him, anything you want to call him. See? Right. See, no, see, Yahweh only has one name, ladies and gentlemen, not many names, see? Satan, Lucifer, the devil, the serpent, see? That's the one that has many names, as we just got to reading, the <laughs> dragon got to reading in Revelation, yes. see? Yes. 12 and 9, King James Version, mm -hmm. see? He's the one that has many names. See right. what I'm talking about? See? All right? Yes. And we want to prove, we said that Yahweh only has one name. See? And you want to prove it to all mankind in a moment of twinkle of an eye. See? So get ready for it. See? He's giving you, he giving you a, 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 a time to call him by his rightful, holy, divine name, which is Yahweh. I need you ready for the, for, for the viewers, please. Uh, uh, Zechariah. 14 and 9. This, this, let's see what y'all always say. He's going to prove to have many names or he's going to prove to have one name. See? Okay? Zechariah 14 and 9. Zechariah 14 and 9 out of the Holy Name Bible. Read. And Yahweh shall be king over all the earth. Uh huh. And in that day, in that day, Yahweh will prove to be a unity. Now, see, now the religious world will, will tell you that the Creator, who they wrongly, wrongly call God, mm -hmm. primarily, wrongly call G, uh, Jehovah, wrongly call Lord, wrongly call Allah, wrongly call Jesus, so forth and so on, they will tell you that the Creator is a trinity. See? Mm -hmm. That's of the devil, see? Right. <laughs> Let's see what Yahweh says about himself, see? Let's see what Yahweh says. Is he a trinity? And also see this Yahweh say he has many names. Zechariah 14 and 9, ladies and gentlemen, read it for yourself. If you get if you get a hold of a holy name Bible, read it out of that. But whatever you got. It says unity, one name. Okay? Yes. Yeah. Read Zechariah 14 9 for the viewers. Let's see if Yahweh is, is a trinity and he and he has many names. Read. And Yahweh shall be king over all the earth. Uh -huh. And in that day. In that, in that, in that, in that, in that revealing day to, to each individual, read. Yahweh will prove to be a unity uh -huh. and with one name. You sure you read that right? Yes. He said one name, right? right. He's going to prove that. So right. I'm talking about right. not many names, ladies and gentlemen, as it read over there in Revelation 12 and 9, King James Version. Okay? Yes. All right? So we're going to get over here for the viewers. Um. 
get right here. I want you to read it twice. Read Revelation 12 and 9 again for the King James Version. Okay. I want to be able to see all of this. Nothing missing. This is our 40 plate chart. Plate 14, angelic transgression. Read it for the viewers, please. Revelation 12 and 9, King James Version, putting correct, holy divine name of the Heavenly Father and his, uh, uh, holy, his holy title, if need be. Revelations 12 and 9 from the King James Version. Speak up. And, and the great dragon. And the great dragon. Was cast out. That old was serpent. Cast out of the third heaven, that old serpent. That old serpent called the devil. Uh huh. And Satan, which deceived the whole world, uh -huh. he was cast out into the earth, uh -huh. and his angels were cast out with him. All right, okay. Thank you, readers. So get right here for the viewers. See? It says here, death here on top of this head here. It says, Father of lies and Satan loose for the devil. See? See? Okay? Yes. All right. So read it again for the viewers, Revelation uh, 12 and 9, King J Version. See? This is the one that has many names. See? Read. Revelation 12 and 9 from King J Version. Uh huh. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil uh -huh. and Satan, uh -huh. which deceived the whole world. All right. He was cast out out into the earth, uh -huh. and his angels were cast out with him. Thank you, reader. Okay? All right? <clears throat> Get back on me. <clears throat> um, to get back, keep on the names for a while. So I'll tell you the movie. Nothing missing. Get it all in there. It says, let's understand that Gad, see, pronounced God, see. Once again, it said, now let's understand that God, spelled G A D, see. Let's understand that G-A-D, pronounced God, was a Chaldean sun, see, sun deity, see. Mm. see. Many was the moon goddess, see. Many was the moon goddess, see. You got something? See. Now, what have the people done? They have forgot, they have forsaken Yahweh, see, whom they should worship. Ain't that something? Uh -huh. They have turned the worshiping, they have turned to worshiping, see, substitute. Ain't that something? Right. You know how you was in, was uh, uh, in school. Uh -huh. And sometimes your 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 uh, regular teacher mm -hmm. might become sick, or she just absent. So they're gonna have they're gonna have a substitute. Right. See, and most majority of and every time we had a substitute, the class when I was going to grade school, mm -hmm. junior high, high school. See, I'm talking about even college. Right. See, they had that substitute teacher. Mm -hmm. Now when that substitute teacher comes in there. The students just the students just act they just act up, don't they? They do. See? Ain't that something? Yes. See. So these substitute erroneous deities, erroneous titles, see, erroneous names, see, see. See. You just you just act up with this type of <laughs> stuff, see. It ain't gonna do nothing, see. But when y'all always show up on the scene, see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. See? You ain't, you, ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna be playing around with him, see what yeah. I'm talking about? See? Alright? You have it there? Yes, sir. So once again, 
It says, they have forsaken Yahweh whom they should worship. They have turned to worshiping substitutes. See what I'm talking about? Yes. Allah, Buddha, Krishna. See, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, Yahuwah. See, Lord Jehovah, God, Jesus Christ. See, see, Buha Allah. See what I'm talking about? Yes. And all the rest of them. See what I'm talking about? Substitutes. Not the real deal. It says, God and many. Yahweh's table has been forgotten. And now they prepare a table, see, to God. See? Now we hear of the Lord's table, see. The Lord's table, Curio's table, see. Her's table, God's, see, God's table, see. Yahweh's table, see, has been forgotten, see. And now they prepare, prepare a table, see, to erroneous deity, God, see. Now we hear of the Lord's table, excuse me. Now we hear of the Lord's table, Curious table, Lord's table, curious table, see. God's table. But why not Yahweh's table, see? Oh friends, read the next verse and see the and see the judgment against those who forsake Yahweh, see. Those who forsake Yahweh and worship, see, substitutes, see. Mm -hmm. It says, read it and be warned. Therefore, because of substitutions, because of substitutions, read it and be warned. Because of substitutions, see, will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I, Yahweh, spoke, or spake, see, ye did not hear, see, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that whatever I delighted, see, I delighted not, see. Mm -hmm. See, Yahweh does not delight and you calling him mm -hmm. by the substitute names and titles. See what I'm talking about? Right. Yahweh don't have no delight in that, see? See? He might bump you off. He's not answering to those. See what I'm talking about? He answers by his name, Yahweh, see? Said, therefore, thus says Yahweh, Behold, my servant shall drink, shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for breaking of spirit, and ye shall leave your name. Better get rid of it now. It says, and ye shall leave your name. Better get, better get rid of it now, friends. For a curse unto my chosen. For Yahweh shall slay thee. See? See, for Yahweh shall slay thee. If you're calling him by these erroneous names and titles, see? You know what I mean? Right. So he's, he, if he's giving, out, he's giving the opportunity, see, to turn from this, see? Repent. And start calling your heavenly father, your creator by a wife for the holy divine name, which is Yahweh, see, see. It says, and ye shall leave your name, better get rid of it now, see. 
meaning better get rid of calling Yahweh out of his name, see? It says, friends, for a curse unto my chosen, for Yahweh shall slay thee and call his servants by another name, mm -hmm. see? That's Isaiah 65, 11 through the 15th verse, and John 17, verses 11 through the 12th verse. It says, just a moment here. It says, Yes, he shall call his servants by another name, and not the name of an idol. But the but that idol, see, but that idol, mm -hmm. Lord, God, mm -hmm. see, see, Pan, Bog, Christos, Curios, Adonai, her, or another. It is time that we discard the names of Baal. Baal. See, it's time that we or you dis disregard the names of Balaam, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. See what I'm talking about? See? Once again, it is time that we discard the names of Balaam and learn the truth. The name of Yahweh is a strong tower, see? Isn't that beautiful? Yes. The righteous runneth unto it and is safe. That's according to Proverbs 18 and 10. Read that for the viewers, please. I just quoted it by reading here. Well, just go ahead and read it out the Bible. Let one know that it is written in your book. Proverbs 18, chapter, verse 10. Read that for the viewers, please. Proverbs 18 and 10, out of the Holy Name Bible. Speak up now. Yes, sir. Proverbs 18 and 10 from the Holy Name Bible. Uh-huh. And... The name Yahweh. In the name of Yahweh, see. <laughs> is a strong tower. It's a strong tower, now. Not a weak tower, but a strong tower, read. The righteousness runneth into it and You got to it. read that again now. Start to read every word correct and pronounceable. It's like you see written down there. Pronounced just like what it, what it reads there. Proverbs 18 and 10, Holy Name Bible. Says. The name Yahweh uh -huh. is a strong tower. Read. The righteous runneth into it uh -huh. and is safe. It's safe now. <laughs> so you ain't no safe running to this. No. You see what I'm talking about? Right. You get bombarded, you get knocked off. See what I'm talking about? Yo, that, these towers get knocked down. See what I'm talking about? Right. See, this is the only strong tower right here, see? Is that it? That's it. Thank you, reader. It says, <clears throat> it is not hard to learn the true names even from the King James translation, see. Psalm 68 and 4 says, sing unto, sing unto the Eloah, the mighty one, sing praise to his name, extol him, well, make, let me make correction. It, it is true, it's, 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 it's half, I'll say it like this. Get it on me. And this class is a research class, ladies and gentlemen. There is many Bibles out there, okay? Yes. All right? And all Bibles have been tampered with, have, have been tampered with, okay? Yes. For the most part. But I'm going to give you some great information for you to check out for yourself. Now it says here, it is not hard to learn the true names even from the King James translation. Now it's referring to here Psalm the 68th division in verse 4. Now Psalm the 68th division verse 4 from your uh, uh, regular, I'll say regular King James version, in there would say, uh, um, installed him by his name, Jah. 
G-A-H. That's erroneous, okay? There is no J in Hebrew, Latin, or Greek to this day, okay? Right. So, that's erroneous. But in your neat, but in your new King James Version, the same verse, Psalm the 68th division, in verse 4, says, Extol him by his name, Yah. Okay? Now that's that's a that's a that's a short form of Yahweh. Right. See? But that is true. Meaning the new King James will say Y A H. Mm -hmm. That is correct. The, this regular King James will say J A H. Mm -hmm. So the translator went back in there right. and put the truth back in there. Okay? Right. And in your holy name Bible, Psalm the sixty eighth division, verse four also says, install him by his name, Yah, okay? So, Jah is erroneous, Yah is correct, okay? Yes. All right, okay? New King James Version has the correct uh, uh, verse there. The regular King James has the mistake, okay? Right. All right? Just want to bring that out, okay? So, get back to the names. That's all I want to see. <clears throat> Once again, it says, It is not hard to learn the true names even from the King James translation. Psalms, the 68th division, verse 4 says, Sing unto Eloah, the mighty one, sing praises to his name, extol him, praise him highly, who, who ruleth upon the heavens by his name Jah. See, then it has in brackets Yah. See, see, Yah is the masculine portion of Yahweh's name. See? So it says, and rejoice before him. Thus we have learned that his name is Yah in lyric. Okay? The name of Yahweh. Alright? According to Psalms, it's the 68th division, verse 4, okay? It says, in Psalms, the 83rd division, verse 16, it says, we have another form of the name. Here it is compound as it is usually found with the verb hawa, meaning living and sense of existence. Yahweh. It says Hova. Uh, Hova means mischief, as in Jehovah. See? Uh -huh. So, see, it says Hova. Yes. Jehovah. Well, that's all erroneous, see? All right? Mistranslation. Um, it says. It has no connection with Yahweh. Yahweh gives a more correct sound of the tetragrammaton. See? See? Of the tetragrammaton, see? This is English. Mm -hmm. This is Hebrew. See? But it's still Yahweh here and Yahweh here. See? Come on down here where it says tetragrammaton. Yes. See? This is the tetragrammaton. Y A W H. This is the tetragrammaton in English. Okay. Yes. Y H. See, he really read from right to left, so it's Y H. Y H Y H. See. Okay. Yes. It's the tetragrammaton. So you don't have they don't have a, a, a vowels in to pronounce their 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 uh, readings. Okay. Yes. We need vowels to, to pronounce. Are words okay? Yes. So Y A W A. That's the tetragrammaton in English. It's the tetragrammaton. See, see, see the four consonants there. It's like to the four. See uh, uh, letters. Okay. Mm -hmm. So once again, it said now. Yahweh is a more correct style of the tetragrammaton. On of Yahweh, see. It says, the text reads, "Fill their faces with shame." 
that they may seek the, thy name, O Yahweh, see. Let them be confounded and, tr and troubled forever. Yea, let them be put to shame and perish that men may know that thou, whose name alone, see, is Yahweh, see. See, whose name alone is Yahweh, see. You know what I'm saying? Right. Me and me, my name only is Yahweh, Yahweh. see. See, or the most high, see. Name Yahweh the most high over all the earth. All right? Yes. Um, keep it there. I, I, I'm just curious about how this is actually read uh, in the Holy Name Bible. Read uh, Psalms, the 83rd division, verse 16. Yes, yeah, Psalm, the, Psalm, the 83rd division, and verse 16. Let's see what that how how that is read. <coughs> Psalms eighty three and sixteen. Gotta speak up. Uh, now. Yes, sir. Psalms eighty three and sixteen out of the Holy Name Bible. Uh huh. Fill their faces with shame. It says, "Fill their faces with shame, that they might seek." Thy name, O Yahweh. Okay, that they might seek they, thy name, O Yahweh. Okay. Make your reader. It says, um, get back here, it's names. <clears throat> It says, it says, it says, see King James Authorized Version, published by World Publishing Company, Cleveland, Ohio, Bible uh, Cyclopedia, in accordance. It says, a review by Dr. George H. Uh, Sanderson, Sanderson, page 214. It said the name of God properly Yahweh. See the name of God. See properly Yahweh. See, <laughs> see erroneous mistranslation. Right. Properly Yahweh. See the form Yahweh was translated into Greek and excuse me. The form Yahweh was translated into the Greek. Word curios by Aquila uh, uh, Symmachus and uh, Theodor Theodor Tio uh, Philo. The form Jehovah, the form Jehovah. was first introduced by Petrus Galatinus in 1489. He changed it from the form Yahweh, see, into the form Jehovah. The form Jehovah, ladies and gentlemen, is wrong, mm -hmm. see. It must be only two syllables, see, Yahweh. Right. Is that something? Right. Jehovah has three mm -hmm. syllables, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't that something? Yes. See? It says, See History of Europe by James Harvey Robinson, page 67 through the 67th page. Ancient, ancient Times, A History of the Early World by James Harvey Robinson, 
page 206 through page 215 and 277. The New Translation of the Bible by James Moffat, Introduction, page 20. Also see a New Translation of the Bible of Joseph Bryant Rothenham and Smith. It says, Good Speeds American Translation. In Exodus 6 and 2, the Almighty said, I am Yahweh. See? And it says, it says in margins, Jehovah. <laughs> and I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Yaakov by the name of El Shaddai, but by my name, Yahweh. It says Jehovah text. So in other words, in Exodus 6 and 2, in the King James Bible, Yahweh was taken out and Jehovah was asserted there. See? That's deception. Right. That's erroneous. See? But the Holy Name Bible, Exodus 6 and 2, see? The correction is put back there. Mm -hmm. Jehovah. I mean, uh, excuse me. The correction is put back there. Yahweh. Yahweh, okay? Yes. All right? So Exodus 6 and 2 will say Jehovah erroneously. Mm -hmm. And the correction, the Holy Name Bible will say Yahweh, Exodus 6 and 2. All right? Yes. And see, um, this name here, Jehovah, erroneous name here, Jehovah. Yes. Erroneous name here, Jesus, see? Yes. Focus on the J, J mm -hmm. and J. It's truly just a six turned backwards. Mm -hmm. But this letter J, all these two erroneous names here, Jehovah and Jesus, see, is approximately, see, between 500 to 600 years old is that. See what I'm talking about? Yes. <clears throat> see, and this act took place here over 2,000 years ago mm -hmm. where there was a no J right. in any language, no J in existence. When he wrote a scripture on the, and put it on the cross here, it was written in Hebrew, Latin, and Greek. See? Your Savior, your Heavenly Father, who he wrongly called Jehovah and Jesus, see, Die in a name and shed his blood for you and I in a name. And that name is, it was, it never will be Jehovah that he died in and Jesus that he died in. Jehovah and Jesus does not mean salvation. See? There's only one name follow that means salvation. And that name is Yahshua. Now watch it now. Yahshua, there's only one name for salvation. There's only one name up here, and that's Yahshua, meaning that Yahweh mm -hmm. is salvation, okay? Right. Shua just simply means salvation or Savior, see? Meaning Yahweh is the Savior, okay? All right? See? Names, keep it up there. Once again, I'm going to read it, just going to uh, repeat what I just got to read. In Exodus 6 and 2, the Almighty said, I am Yahweh. That's in the Holy Name Bible. Exodus 6 and 2. The same uh, verse in King James said, Jehovah. That's erroneous. Okay? Yes. So in Exodus 6 and 2, Holy Name Bible says, The Almighty said, I am Yahweh, and I appear unto Abraham, unto Isaac, unto ja Yaakub, by the name of El Shaddai. But by my name Yahweh was I not known to them. See also the margin of Yonah, 
the first chapter, verse 9, Jeremiah 14 and 21, and uh, Jeremiah 33 and 2. For further evidence that the name of Yahweh, um, it says the martyr reads Jehovah, the King James Version. See, but the, see that's, that's erroneous, okay? But the correct ancient and sacred form is the original, see, Yahweh, all right? Amen. Simple. Just do your research, ladies and gentlemen. Um, let's see here. I need uh, just a couple of chapters and verses. Write these down when you read it, please. Psalms, the 72nd division, verse 17 to 19 verse. Genesis 22 and 14. And Genesis 18 and 1. Read this for the viewers, please. Psalm 72. Uh-huh. Oh. 16. No, 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 no. Pay attention. Psalm, Psalm 72. Oh, oh, 19. I mean, 17 through 19. Yes. Okay. Speak up. Right. Psalms 72, verses 17 through 19, out of the Holy Name Bible. Read. His name shall endure forever. Now, his name is Yahweh, not Jehovah. His name is Yahweh. His name shall endure forever. Yes. Is that what you just read? Yes, sir. Okay, read. His name shall be continued as long as the sun. All right. And man shall be blessed in him. Uh huh. All nations shall call him blessed. All right. Blessed be Yahweh. All right. Elohim. Uh -huh. The Elohim of Israel. Mm -hmm. Who only doeth wondrous things. Right. And blessed be his glorious name uh -huh. forever. Uh -huh. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See? Not hallelujah. See what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Oh, see the one that's, be, that's getting all the praise. See the one that get all the praise and the highest praise is Hallelujah. Right. To the one that be, that's getting praise and that's Hallelujah to Hallelujah way. See. Yeah. Next one is Genesis twenty second chapter verse fourteen. Come on. Genesis twenty two and fourteen from the Holy Name Bible. Uh -huh. And Abraham called the name of the place Yah, Yahweh, Yahweh. Yeah, now, now Abraham called. Read it again. Okay. And, uh, Genesis twenty-two and fourteen from the Holy Name Bible. And Abraham called the name of that place Yah, Yahweh, Yahweh. See, so Yahweh, Yahweh just simply means Yahweh. Uh, 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 the provider. Okay? Three. As it is called to this day, Yahweh will provide. That's right. See how I go? Thank you, reader. Next one, reader, please. Genesis 18 and 1. Genesis 18 and 1 from the Holy Name Bible. Uh huh. And Yahweh appeared unto him in the oaths of Myra, and he sat. In the tenth door, in the heat of the day. Mm-hmm. Thank you, reader. Okay. You have no names there? Yes, sir. Keep it there. Thank you once again, reader. It says now, are you sure there is salvation in the name in which you worship in your religion? See, once again, are you sure that there is salvation? Excuse me. Once again, are you sure there is salvation in the name? See, of these erroneous deities that you worship? Are you sure there's salvation in these erroneous titles and names that you worship, ladies and gentlemen? See. Once again, are you sure there's salvation in the name in which you worship in your religion? See? Allah, Buddha, Krishna, see? Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, Yahuwah, Lord, Jehovah, God, Jesus Christ, see? Are you sure? Right. 
that their salvation in Moroni's name is Moroni's title? Are you sure? Did you ever read what the apostle Peter said in Acts, the fourth chapter, verse 10 through 12, about in whose name you must be saved? You know that Cephas was just a common, ordinary, uneducated fisherman. He was an Israelite speaking the Hebrew language. He did not talk in Greek. In Hebrew, the Savior name is Yahshua, see? Mm -hmm. Not Jesus, see? Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. You can get this thing straight today. Now, you may say that, it said now, once again, it said now, it says, you know that Cephas was just a common, ordinary, uneducated fisherman. He was an Israelite speaking the Hebrew language. He did not talk in Greek. In Hebrew, the Savior's name is Joshua, see, not Jesus. Now, you may say, that may be true, but in Greek, it is Jesus. But we find that is not true. The Greek equivalent to Yahshua is Yah Suter. See? And in English, it would be Yah, see? The Savior. See? The word Isus, the word Isus or Jesus, mm -hmm. see, is a name of a pagan deity see, that was worshipped long before the time of our Savior, Yahshua. Our Savior said that those that came before him, that those came before him were thieves and robbers, see? That's according to John, the 10th chapter, verse 8. Jesus was, was known among, Jesus was known among the pagan, Greeks as their savior long before the the birth of our Messiah, see? Yeah. So you see people turn from the worship of the true savior to worship in the name of the Greek idol uh, Asus or Lesus. You get something? Yeah. See? People have been fooled by Satan. All right? Right. Over here. See, he's right here. People have been fooled see, by Satan. See. See. see, Satan is posing as your religious leader lying to you, okay? All right? That's right. Or fooling you, mm -hmm. all right? See? Back up there. Once again, people have been fooled by Satan. It was the deceivers of the people who inserted the pagan idol Jesus, the pagan, once again now, it was the, the, the deceivers of the people who inserted the pagan idol Jesus mm -hmm. 
in the place of the Holy One. I need to read reader, please. Matthew, the 24th chapter, and verse 14, please. Matthew 24 and 14. Mm-hmm. Matthew 24 and 14 out of the whole... My, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let's just back up. I, I skipped something. Let's back up. Go ahead and read Acts, the fourth chapter, verse 10 through 12. Thanks. Then we're going to get that. Thanks. Yeah. Acts, the fourth chapter, verse 10 through 12. Meaning we still, in other words, get back to just, just we, we still on track. Get back to the name. There's only one name for salvation. And it's not Jesus. Read, please. Okay. Acts 4, 10, 11, and 12 out of the Holy Name Bible. Uh-huh. Be it known unto you all. Be it known unto you all. Be it known unto you all. Be it known unto you all that are viewing this class video today. Be it known unto you. Read. And to all the people of Israel. Uh huh. That by the name of Yahshua the Messiah. Uh, the Nazareth, name of Yahshua the Messiah of Nazareth. Read. Who ye crucified. Whom you crucified now. Whom Yahweh raised from the dead. Uh huh. Even by him doeth this man stand here before you whole. Read. This is the stone which was set at not. Uh huh. Of, uh, of your. Of, of you builders, uh -huh. which is become the head of the corner. Uh, now, Yahshua the Messiah is become or is the head of the corner. We're not talking about the cornerstone church you got put on 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 that on that end of the sits on the corner. We ain't talking about that. See, we talking about a spiritual body, a spiritual temple. See, all right. Now he has become the head of the corner. Read. Neither is there salvation in uh, any other. Now, 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 neither is there salvation, ladies and gentlemen, any other name other than Yahshua the Messiah. This simply means that Yahweh is salvation. There is no salvation in any other name, ladies and gentlemen, including Allah, Buddha, Krishna, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, Yahuwah, Buhala, Buddha. See? We get again, there is no other name, there is no salvation in any other name but Yahshua. This simply means that Yahweh is salvation. There's no other name for salvation because simply, do, you, do your research, ladies and gentlemen, Yeshua simply means salvation. Read. Read it again. Acts 4 and 12 from the Holy Name Bible. Uh -huh. Neither is there salvation in any other. Neither is there salvation in any other name. Read. For there is none other name right. under heaven right. given among men right. whereby men must be saved. All right. That's beautiful. Yes. All right. Thank you, reader. Now, go ahead and read, reader, uh, Matthew um, 24 and 14. Matthew 24 and 14 from the Holy Name Bible. Uh huh. And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world uh -huh. for a witness uh -huh. unto all nations, uh -huh. and then shall the end come. All right. Thank you, reader. Get it on me real quick here. Now, in that chapter and verse that the readers got the reading, it says, and this, it says, and this gospel, see, not that gospel, but this gospel. Yes. See, see, in that gospel, see, that gospel which you have been taught, primarily those that are viewing this class video, you have been taught the gospel that, that, the, that the gospel was with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. 
that's not the true gospel. See? See? Okay? Yes. The gospel is, according to 1 Corinthians 15 chapter, verses 1 through 4. Okay? Yes. See? No one would have time to read it for the sake of time. But the true gospel is, is the death, burial, resurrection. Well, I'll, I'll be back up. The true, the true uh, gospel is the life, the death, the burial, the resurrection, the ascension, the outpoint of the Holy Spirit. That's the gospel. And the gospel is being preached every single day. Okay? <coughs> All right? Yes. You as mankind, somewhere during your day, however long, however long you stay up, one, one of them days, you got to go to sleep. Right. And in that sleep, you're now in a death-like state. And if Yahweh would, that he, that, in, in other words, see, then you, you're in that death-like state, which is sleep, and then you cover yourself, yes. see, in some covers, a sheet or something, Right? right? If Yahweh will, he will resurrect you the following day. See? You go through this uh, on a daily basis. All right? Yes. As a witness, the Yahshua Messiah Ashley, who preaching his own gospel, he is the gospel himself, if the, the true gospel is the death, burial, or life, death, burial, resurrection, tarrying, ascension, outpouring of the Holy Spirit. That's the true gospel according to 1 Corinthians the 15th chapter, verses 1 through 4. Okay? Matter of fact, go on and read it. Go on and read it. Keep, get, keep it right here. I want to see this and this. I want to read it for the viewers, since we have it there. First Corinthians. Uh huh. Matter of fact, I want to be able to see this. All is down here. This right here. It's like I'm circling. This right here. Okay. You okay. have it? Yes, sir. Get it in close so we can read what's on there. You yes. got it? Yes, sir. Great. Go ahead. First, Come on now. You got it. First Corinthians 15, verse 1 through 4. When one, one that's viewing this class video will now know from this day forward what the true gospel is. It is not Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. That is not the gospel. This is the true gospel. And every day, whether you whether you're conscious of it or not, the gospel is being preached. Verbally, you hear it, or in silence, it's still being preached. Okay? Now this is the true gospel. Okay? Uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 15, starting in verse 1, all the way down to the fourth verse. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, out of the Holy Name Bible. Speak up, please. Read. Moreover, brother. Moreover, brother. I declare unto you the, the, the gospel. It said, now, I, now, brother, I declare unto you the gospel. Now, Matthew said the same thing. He said, in this gospel, is that mm -hmm. right? So, so, Paul is confirming that. Paul is said, now, uh, uh, what did he say? He said, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel. I declare unto you the gospel. Which I preached unto you, uh -huh. which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. Right. By which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory. Now you, you're, you're, slave, you're saved, ladies and gentlemen, if you keep this in memory. Read. What I preached unto uh -huh. you, unless ye have believed in vain. Uh -huh. For I deliver unto you. First of all, that which I also received. Now he receives something that he did not know before. Now he received it now and he's standing on it. Now he now he's confessing, you know what I mean, or teaching it to you. Read. How that Yahshua died. How that Yahshua died now. For our sins. For our sin, ladies and gentlemen. According to the scripture. According to the scripture. Now the scripture, ladies and gentlemen, which he was also taught also. That the scripture is your entire Bible. That's not true. The scriptures are from Genesis to Malachi. That is the scripture, which is called the Old Testament. That is what 
the apostle Saul is referring to. We had again that word says scriptures. Okay. First Corinthians 15 and 3 from the Holy Bible. Uh -huh. For I deliver, for I deliver unto you first of all that which I also received. Uh -huh. How that Yahshua died for our sins according to the scripture. Three. And that he was buried. That he went to a death, he was buried. And that he rose again. And he resurrected. He rose again now. So if he rose again, it means he had to he had to at least rise one time before. See what I'm talking about? Right. And and it's a continuous death, burial, resurrection, ascension, and outpouring every single day, whether you're conscious of it or not. It's just to testify of Yahshua Messiah, who was truly Yahweh manifested, truly did. You know what I mean? What he said he did mm -hmm. according to the scriptures. The whole universe is a witness. Read. Come on. And that he was buried. Uh -huh. And that he rose again. Uh -huh. The the third day. The third according, day. The third day now. According to the scriptures. Uh-huh. Thank you, reader. See how I go? Alright. So back up here on the name, please. That's all I want to see is those names. Nothing missing. Thank you again, uh, reader. It says now. It says now you can see why uh, Cephas' statement is correct that there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby, whereby we must be saved except Yahshua. See, except Yahshua. See, who hung on. A tree, see? Yes. See. Whom Yahweh our Heavenly Father raised, in whom the builders or preachers set aside or are not. The builders, preachers have set up the idol Jesus. See, yes, see. The erroneous preacher that set up the idol Jesus. Mm -hmm. See. In the holy place, it says, brother, sister, think it over. Are you saved? Is that something? Right. That's a question now. I'm going to repeat the question, ladies and gentlemen. It says, now, brother and sister, think it over. Are you truly saved? The name of the Savior can be learned quickly by turning to Hebrew 4 and 8. And reading the text with the marginal rendering, that is, for if Yahshua, see, <clears throat> for if Yahshua, it says in parentheses, Joshua, had given the rest, then would he not afterwards have spoken of another day? Here it is plainly evident that Jesus has taken the place of the older name. Joshua, or as a real, or as a real, originally, Yahushua, see, Yahushua, see. It says, see the note in the Wilson uh, emphatic uh, dia, diaglot, Matthew the first chapter verse twenty one, and also the. Um, it says, uh, Chal, Chaloner, Ch Ch Chaloner Realms, Catholic Version. Okay? Um, I need, we're going to read this for the viewers. Get, get, get Hebrews 4 and 8. Write it down. Read it. Hebrews 4 and 8, King James Version, and also... The Holy Name Bible version. We're going to make corrections there. Which your translator has, translator has took out the took out the correct, have took out the correct and inserted a lie in there. Okay, for deception. He was four and eight, and also we're going to read Matthew one and twenty one. From the Holy Name Bible and the King James Version. Okay. 
I want to get Hebrews 4 and 8 from the, from, from the King James Version. Read it just like it is. Read it just like it is, sir? Uh-huh. Okay. Now, this is incorrect, ladies. We're going to make the correction read. Okay, I'm reading uh, Hebrews 4 and 8 out of the King James Version. Uh, I, 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 uh, just, go, just go ahead and read. I'm not sure what it says. Okay. Go ahead and read. Okay. Um, for, it, for if Jesus had given them rest... Okay, now, in Hebrews 4 and 8, King James Version said, now, if Jesus would have given them rest. Now, in Hebrews 4 and 8, it's referring back to, um, it's referring back to the Old, it's referring back to the Old Testament. Okay? All right? See? Just, just, uh, I want you to be able to see this in this. You can see it both. Yes. Now, it says for in Jesus. Now, once again, you have to follow. See, the name Jesus, ladies and gentlemen, is approximately between 500 to 600 years old, if that. See, this around his name Jesus, see, didn't, didn't come after, didn't come in until after this act took place right here. 1400 to 1600 years after this took place right here, see? And it was done in the name, see, for salvation, see? Isn't that beautiful? Yes. The name Jesus wasn't even in existence. Mm -mm. So, so Jesus couldn't give nobody any rest. No. See what I'm talking about? Because Jesus, the name Jesus wasn't even in existence. Jesus just is just a, a, a made up name, see? And just put on somebody. It's like imaginary friend. Right. See what I'm talking about? But in but 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 in actuality, Jesus does not even exist. Okay? Yeah. It's a strong delusion, it's strong deception. It's strong it's now. Strong. Okay? So so I want, want you to be able to see this. You have everything? Yes. yes. You have it in post where you can see it on there. I need to read it again. Hebrews four Hebrews four and eight from the from the King James Version. Hebrews 4 and 8 from the King James Version mm -hmm. says, For if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterwards have spoken of another day. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, do you have any, right where it says Jesus in that, in that verse of the King James Version, are there any letters or numbers next to that name Jesus in that verse? Yes, sir. Is there a it's letter? A letter. Or, it's a letter. Letter what? Letter N. Letter N. Yes. So, so that's so that so you go down to to the to the, to the margins where the translators have put have put the correction there. Now find out what it says. It might be at the bottom of the page. Wherever you're reading that chapter and verse okay. from, go down to the bottom of the page, okay. or in the middle. Let me see it. Come on now. Now Hebrews, um, Hebrews four and eight, uh, for the King James Version has has an N in front of the name Jesus. So you go down to in the margins here to the uh, eighth verse of chapter four, Hebrews uh, four and eight, and the N um, refers to Joshua. Okay. All right. Okay. So now, so just you got to stay focused. To zero zero in. Say so in Hebrews four and eight, it said that Jesus would have you know given him rest uh, to, to to that effect, right? Mm -hmm. But we focus on the wrong his name Jesus. Now and now the J. Is the newest uh, a letter in the uh, in the English alphabet? Okay, was well, last letter inserted into the English alphabet when it already had uh, was, was already from A to Z. Okay, like I said earlier, that this letter J, see, is approximately between 500 to 600 years old. Is that okay? 
The letter J is not, is, 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 is it in English, Hebrew, or Latin to this day, okay? All right? right. So, Hebrews 4 and 8, King James Version says Jesus. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, they had an N, that's a Jesus. You go down in the margins, it says Jesus. It says N, it says Joshua, okay? Joshua is erroneous too, okay? Right. So Joshua, in other words, because there's no J in Hebrew, right. okay? All right? So it's surely supposed to be Yahshua in Hebrews 4 and 8, okay? Yes. All right? You ain't got to read no more. I just wanted to show the viewers that, okay? okay. See? No Joshua, no Jesus. It's truly Yahshua, okay? Yes. All right? So now I want you to read Matthew um, 1 and 21. King James Version and Holy Name Version. Matthew 1 and 21, out of the King James Version. Uh-huh. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. No, no, she called his name Jesus. That's erroneous there too, right, Reed? For he shall save his people from their sins. See, the name Jesus does not mean salvation. See, it's the only name in the whole entire universe, mm -hmm. Shua, that means salvation. See, why is, it, why, why is it right here? You know what I mean? Right along with Yah. Right. It's just simply mean that Yahweh is salvation. See? See? All right? Now read how it's really supposed to be in Matthew 1 and 21, Holy Name Bible. Matthew 1 and 21 from the Holy Name Bible. Mm hmm And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahshua. All right. For he shall save his people from their sins. See, Shua, Yahshua, truly mean that Yahweh is salvation. See? All right. Thank you, reading. Good on me. <clears throat> and we're going to uh, end the class lecture right there and pick it up uh, again uh, uh, next week, Yahweh willing, part three, okay? Yes. But we're going to end the class lecture uh, right there. Okay. If you got anything out, that testimony, all praise and honor and glory belongs to Yahweh only. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like to say great day to the class once again. Great day. Are there any comments concerning today's class lecture? I just wanted to go about it there, sir, where that Y and that I and that J is. Now when the see the, the letters right there? That's how the yes, yeah, so that's when it first the it, when it first was written, it was written with the Y. Am I correct? What was then, first written? Like the name Yahweh in the Bible. That's right. Yes, sir. And then it went to an I. Well, no, yeah, true, but listen, okay. right? The name Yahweh or mm -hmm. Yahshua, right. okay? I mean, the, the translator started tampering mm -hmm. with the Satanic spirit, holds an ass, you know, a translator, right? Tampering with these Bibles. Mm -hmm. See, see the Y. See, it's taking off the two. See how the two, like two like prongs. Okay. See what I'm saying? You got the bottom part there. See how it goes? That's deception. Yes. So this is true. Start off with a Y, right? Right. Then down to an I. Yes. See? See? And then 
a J. So all they did was put a hook on on the eye, mm -hmm. and they pronounced it, made that, uh, 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 made it, uh, it came up with a uh, uh, the sound or the alphabet, right. pronounced it J. See, I'm talking about. Yes. See, well, it's going to be Yahweh in the beginning, mm -hmm. see? and Yahweh in the end. <laughs> see, I'm talking about. Yes. See, just like you have two field goals on the football field. Yep. You got a Y on one end, mm -hmm. a goal post on one end, mm -hmm. and a goal post on the other end. See, I'm That's talking right. about Yahweh in, in the beginning, Yahweh in the end. See, I'm talking about? Yes. See, so that's all deception. Deception. See. But in, but in, um, in Latin, the I is pronounced as a Y. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about, could you have it right here? Okay. See. Let me get that. To prove, matter of fact, go and read that for the viewers. Uh, John, the 19th chapter, started at verse 19. A lot of people, are, are, a lot of people to this day, a lot of people that are viewing this class video, is wearing this uh, uh, cross, what they call a crucifixion, around their necks, with just like this, yeah. with a, with a, with a, uh, you know, with a, uh, 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 you know. A physical body, mm -hmm. an emblem of a physical body, mm -hmm. a charm hanging around their neck with this <laughs> physical emblem That's right. on there. And they got this on there. Mm -hmm. And they stay running over open their mouth talking about Jesus. See what I'm talking about? Yes. The name Jesus or a letter J wasn't even in existence when this took place right here. See what I'm talking about? This was done in a name. See what I'm talking about? Yes. Shed, shed blood in a name for you. You gonna put it on Jesus? Is that something? Uh -huh. We are gonna get this straight today. Read and agree. He, uh, uh, John nineteen and nineteen start now. John nineteen and nineteen from the Holy Name Bible. On that Y and that I and that J. Read. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. Now Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And the writing was Yahshua of Nazareth. Now, now. Matter of fact, get right here. Get right here. The same pictorial was more of a see what actually took place was pierced to the side and things like that. Same one got a description, you can barely see it there, but we're gonna just get right here. I'm gonna zoom in. You can zoom in, great. Get all this just with my finger. Get this right here. You have it? Yes, sir. We did it again for the viewers. John 19 and 19 from the Holy Name Bible. Uh huh. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. Uh huh. And the writing was Yahshua of Nazareth. And the writing was Yahshua of Nazareth, ladies and gentlemen. The king of the Jews. The king of the Yehudites. No J, no Jews. The king, the king of, of the Yehudites. No J, no Jesus. No J, no Jews. No J, no Jehovah. No J, no Joshua. Keep reading. You want to know what it's written in. This title then read many of the uh -huh. for the for the place where Yahshua was crucified uh -huh. was nigh to the city. Read. And it was written in Hebrew. It was written in Hebrew, but there's no J. Greek. Written in Greek, but there's no J. And Latin. Well, there's no J, see? So it wasn't so if there's no J in Hebrew, Latin, or Greek, uh -huh. see? They did not put no name of Jesus on this cross because the letter J or the name Jesus or, or Jehovah uh -huh. was not even in existence when this took place for the shitty other blood for you and I. See what I'm talking about? Yes. That plug, that blood went to the four quarters of the earth. Mm -hmm. You gonna turn right around and call him Jesus? That this that this act was done in the name erroneous called Jesus, but the name erroneous Jesus wasn't even in existence mm -hmm. to fourteen or sixteen hundred years after this shedding of his blood for you and I took place. Did that something? Okay. Big strong exception. Yeah. So get everybody back here. So this is Latin here. It's written in Hebrew, Latin, and Greek. Yes, sir. So the I pronounces a Y. 
-hmm. See, the I is pronounced as Yahshua, the N is Nazareth, the R meaning Rex, Rex meaning King, mm -hmm. and the I once again for Yehuda. So if it's so it read, Yahshua of Nazareth, mm -hmm. the Rex or the King of the Yehudas, okay? Yes. Yes, sir. So one may be wearing this cross around their neck today. If you're on this class video, you now you know what the I N R I means. See what I'm talking about? Alright? Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Dr. Saul, you get ready. You have it? Here? Yes. Alright, uh great comment. Uh great comment. Um like I say, we hold class here in Walking in the Spirit, Omaha class, on Sundays only. Once a week, Sundays only, okay? And if you'd like to leave a comment, you can go to our email address, which is at which we, we have it at the end of every class video. And our email address is Yahshua47 at gmail.com. If, if Yahweh put on your heart and mind, leave a comment there, whether positive or negative, leave a comment on our email address. All right, and also we have a um, a YouTube channel entitled Walking in the Spirit Omaha Class. Uh, you can leave a comment on our YouTube channel also, if Yahweh. Uh, 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 put it on your, on your heart and mind. Do that whether positive or negative, okay? And uh, last but not least, let us all stand for the doxology. Our doxology can be found in the King James Bible, the King James Version of your Bible, in the book of Jude, spelled J-U-D-E, verse 24 and verse 25, also in the Holy Name Bible under the book of Judah, spelled J-U-D-A-H. Same verses, verse 24 and verse 25, now for the doxology. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Elohim, our Savior, to Yahshua Messiah, our Sovereign, belong glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both before all time and now and ever. Let us all say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah.